How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Against the World Gaming. This is Cuban Cigar, and today I got something special for you guys. <clears throat> I've been toying around with uh, some seven days to die, like, you know, mechanics and logic and stuff, and it's some of the, the physics of the game, and I've just kind of been toying around. And there's something that I really miss about seven days to die that we used to have <clears throat> back around... Alpha 16, Alpha 17, Alpha 15. I mean, all pre like Alpha 18, I think, is when they fixed the 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 old hatch elevators. Um, there used to be these elevators that were like, you know, you could you essentially would would step into an open hatch, and then you would close that open hatch. You would jump, and it would shoot you all the way up until you got to the very top. <clears throat> And then come Alpha 18, I think it was Alpha 18, they patched that and you could no longer do it. And I've been messing around with this quite a bit. And I'm just going to show you guys something really quick. I'm going to I'm going to show this working and then I'm going to show you guys how I built it. So let's uh, let's get in here. And as you can see, I'm at the top <laughs> now. Uh, it's super cool. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back into God mode, but I went from way down there all the way up to the top of the, the Space Needle, and it happened pretty damn quick. There's a moment where you bounce like halfway through, because this is a long way to go up. <clears throat> so there's a moment where, you, where I bounced halfway through, but then the game kind of continued to calculate and put me exactly where I needed to be, which was at the very top, once there, are no, there aren't any more hatches. So I'm going to show you guys how you build this early game. <clears throat> I would say maybe like, we'll call it mid, mid early game. So it's not like, you, this isn't something you're going to be able to build on day one. Okay. But it's something you could probably build once you have a forge. You are going to need to have a forge to be able to build uh, these rolling, the rolling garage door. Um... And then late game, you can do it with the powered garage door. But you're going to need rolling garage doors. And to make the rolling garage doors, you need 90 forged iron. So that's why I say this is more of a mid, <clears throat> mid early or late or early, late early game. <laughs> we'll call it mid early game, late early game. You know, once you can get your hands on some forged iron, you can make one of these. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get yourself set up. You know, whatever building you're in, just make sure you have a nice three by three. And we're going to just call this three by three your elevator shaft. OK, and then I'm going to go ahead and start putting in my hatches and we're going to go from this bottom and it's going to. OK, that's right. I forget. I have to you have to have <clears throat> a support for the hatch to grab onto. Um, so back in the day. <clears throat> You would come in here, you would close this, and you would jump, and it would shoot you up, right? That's how it used to be. It no longer works that way. Um, now what you do is you want to make your 3x3, three three, and then 1, 2. <clears throat> so from the center where you're going to be standing, you want to go two blocks, and the third block over, you want to dig that two blocks down, okay? And you need five blocks of space because that's how that's how... Um, that's how wide the garage door is. So there you go. So I made my, <clears throat> my two blocks down, two blocks away from the center of where I'm going to be standing. And then you want to turn this thing and you're going to notice that when you're looking at it, the garage door, more of it is to one side than the other. So in this situation, it's, there's a little, it's more toward the right side of the ghost square or its hitbox. I want it on the left side. So, uh, so there it's on the right. And then if I rotate it twice, you can see there it's on the left, okay? So I wanna put it in there so that when I open it, it opens into my elevator shaft, okay? Just like that. <clears throat> and let's pull this gun out, my dev gun, in case a zombie comes. Then what you do is you get in here, you close it, and you wanna be roughly off to the edge of this. And when you, when you open the garage door, Oh, I didn't do it right. <clears throat> this is this is where it gets a little tricky early game. When you open the garage door, uh, I want to be about there. It'll shoot me up. 
Oh. Now I, now I can't seem to, to get this to work properly for you guys. So I need to move over just slightly and let's see if that works. Now it's just pushing on me. Okay. Okay, fine. You want to play that game? Let's play, let's play that game. I promise you guys this works because I've done it like a bunch of times. And it's shooting me up, but not, not quite the way I want it to. So that's fine. <clears throat> let's see if this works. Now it's just messing with me. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do this. So the, the other way, I wanted to show you guys that this, this does, in fact, work. So I'm going to take this block. Actually, let's grab, let's get rid of these. Let's put this down here and this down here. So one of the things I like to do <clears throat> is, as you saw inside, I had a wedge on one side up on the top, okay? And what this was doing, it was pushing me against the side here, okay? That's what you want. You want it to push you off to the side. Um, and that's not going to push me up quite yet because, at least I don't think, not from what I remember. So the other thing you can do is on the back side of this, you once again, you want to dig five across, but you only want to go one down this time, okay? And just like before, you want the garage door to go into, <clears throat> into that. And that one you can just leave it. Just leave it like that. Don't even touch it. Okay, then on the other side over here, we're going to put another one of these down. And then on the bottom, we're going to put a plate. <clears throat> and the reason you put a plate is because between that wedge and that plate, you are perfectly positioned for this thing to push you up. See that? So if you want it to guarantee to work and you want to be able to, to position yourself properly every time, you need to make two of these doors. Now, there's a way to do it with just one door, but you got to be positioned like just right. And it's a real big pain to pull it off. But as you can see, every time it shoots me up to the top of this. Okay, so that's essentially what you do. Um, <clears throat> I'm wondering if I should get if I should get rid of some of these so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. If I get rid of some of these, especially the ones on the side here, so you guys can really, really take a close look at what's going on. Because um, <clears throat> I want you guys to understand this. Like it's it's relatively simple. I mean, you've got a garage door here. This is the one that you will turn on and off. This one you'll just leave all the time. And if you want to protect it, all you have to do is just put, you know, put some blocks around it like so. And then let me get rid of these. And you could do the same thing. You could protect this guy from the zombies by putting some blocks around it. But this is these are things that, you know, if you do it inside of a building, the zombies aren't going to attack this stuff, right? So there, that's kind of protected, right? You could, you could, you could find a way to like completely protect all of this stuff if you really wanted to, you know. Like as you can see, I'm just putting blocks all over the place, <clears throat> just to kind of cover up the the garage doors. And I went too far out. I could have put this here. There was no need to go way out here. <clears throat> because the garage door is taking up the block on the inside. So I can just go just like this um, and do the same thing off on the side over here. Now, this side doesn't have a garage door on the, in the ground, so I don't have to go over. But as you can see, it, it all gets protected pretty well. Um, and again, you just step on in and it'll shoot you up. I wasn't positioned right on that one. I pushed the button too soon and it shoots me right on up. Now, I want to show you guys how I did this automatic one. This is kind of your early, your late early game rendition of, you know, getting one of these up and running, you know, in your base. Let's, let's just call it day, I don't know, day five, day six. I don't know. Maybe let, let's, let's just say after your first horde night, you'll be able to build one of these. Okay. Cause you'll, by then you should have a forge. You should be in pretty decent shape. Um, to take on just about anything, right? I think it's, uh, I want to, <clears throat> I really want you guys to kind of see 
the basics of this. So that's, I mean, that right there is your basics, right? I don't even need, let's, let's close that. I don't even need these. Those are, those are all unnecessary. There we go. So that's like your basic. So if you can build something like this inside of a building where it's all protected, you're good. So now let's take a look in here and let me show you guys how this works. So if I come in here, you guys saw this. I have a trigger plate down there. That trigger plate is going to activate the powered garage door. Powered garage door is right here. So when I step on that plate, <clears throat> this, this powered garage door opens. I've got the same setup where I have the second garage door in the back going over. I've got my battery bank back here. That other wire there goes all the way up to the ceiling of this thing where I have a solar panel. So I can always keep my batteries inside my battery bank completely protected, okay? So th this is still the same setup. Everything's exactly the same. There's my wedge, there's my plate. I have an upside down trigger. Um, let me just show you guys. I have an upside down trigger. And then I just put the, I put the, the relay underneath it just to hide the wires. You don't have to do that. You can expose all the wires. It doesn't matter. They don't get in the way. They don't, you know, you, you, you can't mess them up at all. So you get all of this set up. So you've got your trigger plate, trigger plate gets powered. So it goes battery bank to trigger plate, trigger plate to door. And that essentially will power the door so that when I, let me get out of God mode. When I step on this, it shoots me all the way up to the very, very top. And then I can show you guys up here, there's a solar panel that I'm using to keep everything, everything powered. So that's pretty much it, guys. I, this isn't going to be very long. This is a really quick tutorial, but I just wanted to show you guys that the hatch elevator is totally doable once again in Alpha 19, 19.3 to be exact. Today is January 25th, 2021. So as of this day, if you use this method, you can use a hatch elevator once again, which we haven't been able to do since Alpha 17. So anyways, guys, thanks. thank you so much for checking out my tutorial. I hope it really helps you out. I hope you guys use this. I hope I, I see some comments of people trying these out and let me know or showing me um, what bases you built. I'm a big fan of the Sky Needle. I, I think it's one of the coolest combo pack POIs and it, it needs an elevator because it's so freaking tall. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time.